This bombshell beauty right here can ride like a wind. She got one more to go. In the hey guys, happy Tuesday and welcome to Burrow Racer Life. My name's Maddie Stoltman. Uh, so I got to do some burrow racing this past week. I took a few different horses over to a few different races. So I'm going to show you guys about those. Got to run Claude. He got his feet done, which was awesome. <laughs> um, poor guy was kind of needing a trim and I don't like to run him in particular uh, when he's getting longer. So um, got him all fixed up, got to go to a barrel race and he did awesome. So I'll show you guys about everything going on here this past week um, as well as getting ready for Christmas. I cannot believe it. It really doesn't feel like Christmas time when you're in Arizona. Um, last year was the first Christmas we'd spent here. So we're doing that again this year. Um, and it kind of is strange. I'm Canadian originally, so I'm used to snow and um, Christmas trees and it's just a very different vibe here but um, don't want to sound like I'm being ungrateful I'm very happy to be here it's just different so anyways I'll stop talking and I'll show you guys about things here this Okay, so I left the arena not impressed. <laughs> uh, so River was a horse that I bought as a project horse and a project horse means that they come with some issues that need to be resolved. So um, especially with a mare, I find sometimes with these uh, kind of strong willed mares, there's like this line of learning to be on the same page as them, but also have mutual respect. And it's like you can't, they just work different than geldings. It's like they have this really strong spirit and this strong need to almost be right, which is fine if they're gonna go and do their job correctly. However, I felt like I was just along for the ride. <laughs> so River and I went home and did a little bit of homework. I also put her in a head setter and I found that was um, kind of a better thing. She was able to kind of maintain her proper positioning and not pull on my hands so much. Uh, and that was something that I went home, found was gonna work for us and then implemented that before we went to the next barrel race. <laughs> the breakfast buffet. <laughs> I went to the barrel race and I'm really tired. My helper filling water buckets. Exciting. Five, ninety-one, Jenna Hoffman on Show Me the Sugar, ninety-two, Carson Bradley on Dolph Sweat. My friend Jenna and I went to this race together and she had an awesome run so I wanted to incorporate that as well. Um, she is the really adorable blonde girl that modeled for Level Up recently so you guys might recognize her from there. Yeah. Are we going to fire Jenna, the videographer? Yes, he's fired. You did awesome. I was saying to Cody, I really miss my family and it doesn't really feel like Christmas. And I came home and he'd set up Christmas lights inside and outside for me. So that was really sweet. So Claude and I ended up 
third in the 2D. So a 17-1 was the fast time. Uh, we were 17-6, so we won about 300 bucks. Uh, I was really happy about that. This barrel race was kind of, I don't want to be rude, but it was sort of a disorganized one. Um, I had a friend enter me earlier in the day so that I wouldn't have to run very late. Um, they had some problems with their computer system and I ended up being put in the very last draw. So I ended up sitting there and waiting for about five hours. <laughs> um, so actually longer than that, probably six at least. Anyways, it was kind of one of those days that a lot of people were kind of frustrated with it. And so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about that. Um, not necessarily about this specific situation, but in general, um, I am someone that really absorbs a lot of the kind of energy around me. And I'm sure some of you are the same. So when you're in situations where there's maybe negative energy around you, um, learning to be able to let go of that before you get on your horse is really important. So I, you know, had was a little irritated with the situation and also a, a lot of people were. So being around the arena, you could really feel kind of a heavy, um, everyone was just kind of pissed off. <laughs> so you could feel it. And I went back to my trailer and I kind of had this negative uh, mindset. And I went, you know what, I need to get rid of this because if I'm going to get on my horse, it's not fair to him for me to hop on his back with this in my mind, um, for one. And for two, uh, I want to do good. So it's hard to do, do well um, competitively in a negative mindset. So I went back to the trailer and I just shook it off, visualized all of the negativity falling off of me, um, went in and thought of three things that I was grateful for. And about the whole day in the situation. So one, um, it's a really, really good, good arena with great dirt. Uh, two, I was there and saw a lot of really good friends. So that was a huge plus. And three, my horse was feeling good and I was really excited to get to run him. So uh, being able to shift that mindset is really important and it worked for us. Claude and I ran a 17.6, had a great run. I was so happy with it, even though my friend Jenna missed half of it on the video. <laughs> it's all good, Jenna. I forgive you. Um, but just something for you guys to think about practicing is being able to let go of those emotions and not be affected by the situation when it's time to get focused. Thank you. Well, we got some much needed rain here, um, which those of you that have been to Arizona or have watched my previous videos know that the dirt here doesn't handle moisture very well, so it ends up being a mud pit. Um, so it's been muddy for a few days. The arena where we stay is still muddy. Um, so I'm riding my colts out in the desert today and I'm gonna show you our cool little setup that we have out here that is kind of our makeshift out of the arena arena for days that we can't go and ride in our arena where we're staying. So the lady that owns the place where we stay for the winter, she came out here, her name's Sonia. Sonia came out here with the tractor and made little circles for us. Um, which we'd previously rode on, but they weren't really, um, they got kind of hard after the rain, which is like the opposite of the arena. But anyway, you can see our little circles that she's dug up for us. So we're going to play out here today. We are loaded up. We are going to Dunn's Arena today, me and Dally. Um, they've got what they call Frugal Mondays, so it's a cheap entry fee on Mondays. So I'm gonna, um, I've got both the Colts and River loaded up. River and I had a disagreement <laughs> last time. Um, so we've worked on a few things and uh, we're gonna straighten it out a little bit. Um, and then I have both the babies loaded. I might just enter hot sauce only because they didn't get a ton of entries last time and to run three in a really short amount of time is just too much. So um, we'll kind of see when we get there. Go on now.
is way happier about the progress that River and I had made. So we made some good changes. Her and I had a discussion. <laughs> Basically, I was just a little bit more assertive in my cues when practicing at home. Um, I'm never one to be mean for, to a horse. Anyone that knows me knows I'm quite uh, light-handed and I really don't get hard on them. Um, however, I will be stern and to the point about it, especially if the way that I was doing it wasn't getting through to them. Okay, well, then I'm going to be a little bit more assertive. Uh, so that's something I've been practicing with River and um, working on since the barrel race and Buckeye didn't go so well. And um, also putting the headsetter on her, I feel like was a really good move. So those combination of things, uh, we are moving in the right direction. So I was much happier with how our run went at Dunn's yesterday. Um, and she actually ended up placing. So River and I made some 3D money and I'm so excited because Hot Sauce made his very first money ever. I never thought I would be so excited about a 20 second time, but he ended up placing in the 4D. Won his first money, he won $37. So we're going to add that to his lifetime earnings. Um, but I wanted to also mention to you guys to be excited about the journey. So with these horses um, that might be, you know, a project horse, maybe you're learning, maybe they're learning, or maybe a colt, um, or even if you have a finished horse, it doesn't necessarily mean you get to winning right away. So just enjoying the process is something that I've learned um, and enjoying the steps along the way and uh, just kind of learning and appreciating every step that you take and, you know, kind of your journey to getting where you want to go. Um, because really sometimes the journey can be a long one so we might as well enjoy it and I think learning to appreciate uh, the little steps is something that really helps uh, lead us towards the bigger goal. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you got to watch the NFR last week. I really enjoyed watching all those horses run on a standard pattern and they dragged for the first time ever in the history of the NFR. Um, so that was really cool for them to have a tractor drag out there as well. Um, really need to see the sport progressing, hoping that's something that will stay in uh, Vegas next year when they move the NFR back to where it usually is. Anyway, thank you so much for watching you guys. I always appreciate your support. And if you're enjoying my videos, please subscribe to my channel.